Happy New Year to all of you watching today. Wow, time flies so fast. Another year has gone and we are ready into the first hours of 2023. We hope and pray that you've had a good New Year celebration with your family and friends. Although we don't have an in-person service today, we couldn't let the opportunity pass to celebrate this first Sunday of 2023 with you all. So we prepared a short but sweet online service to encourage you and remind you that 2023 will be a great year with Jesus as the center of our lives. The splendor of a king Clothed in majesty Let all the earth rejoice Let all the earth rejoice He wraps himself in light And darkness tries trembles at his voice, and trembles at his voice. How great is our God, sing with me. How great is our God, and all will see how great, how great is our God.
Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, one year is gone, and another year is already here. First Sunday of 2023, January 1st, first hours of the day. And uh, we thank God and we praise God for this opportunity that he gave us to come into this new year and um, enjoy the year that he already prepared for us in advance. Probably for some of you, 2022 wasn't the best year um, at all due to personal difficulties in your life, painful experiences, a medical uh, condition, a broken relationship, a loss of, love, uh, of a beloved one. Most of us never experienced in our lifetime the consequences of a war as we have been experiencing the last 10 11 months or so, resulting on energy, energy crisis, rise of mortgage rates, uh, high inflation rate, <laughs> and as a result, people is losing buying power, which somehow translates in low, lowering the quality of life, and families going into poverty. Unfortunately, that's the scenario of the last few months. But let's stop talking about the past, about the negative uh, stuff of the past, and um, let's leave it behind for 2022, which that is already gone, all of those negative experiences. Actually, the Bible tells us that, uh, and it tells us by the mouth of the Apostle Paul in Philippians chapter 3, that we should forget what lies behind and uh, straining forward to what lay, lies ahead. And the Apostle Paul keeps saying, I press on toward the goal to win the supreme and heavenly prize to which God in Christ Jesus is calling us upward. A question that we should ask, and so many people are asking actually, what will the new year be? Will be one of peace? Will be one of prosper prosperity? What the new year will be? Well, it will depend in our attitudes, in our actions, in our choices that you're going to make throughout the year. So what will be? Let's see a few things, that um, three quick things that I would like to share with you today, this first Sunday of 2023. The new year, 2023, should be a time to forget and forgive the past, like the Apostle Paul told us. As I already mentioned, the Apostle Paul says, forgetting the things which are behind. What is the new year? It's a time to forget, to forgive our faults, our failures, our misfortune of the past of 2022. So many times we carry on on our shoulders the weight of the past failures and and those became kind of a hindrance for us to live, you know, and, uh, and take possession of the blessings that God already prepared for us. So forget the past, forget your failures, forget, you know, what happened that was negative and look forward for the future. And forget yourself, forgive yourself about your failures. Sometimes we are so hard on, our, on us, but we need to forget and forgive ourselves, forget the past. The second thing that the Apostle Paul tells us in those verses that I read at the beginning in Philippians chapter 3, he says to press forward, to look forward, to aim forward. The new year will be a great time for us to refocus to, and to focus in, in what it lays ahead for us, what God already prepared for us, like the Apostle Paul said, pressing forward to what lies ahead. Let go of the baggage that's holding you back. Instead, let the Word of God and the Holy Spirit of God mold you, make you, mature you into the fruit of the Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Let the Holy Spirit mold you and make you and help you to produce the fruit of the Spirit in the new year. What the new year will be? Well, 
will be a time to press forward in our faith. The new year will be a great opportunity to grow spiritually, to grow in our faith, in our relationship with Christ Jesus and His church. The new year will be an opportunity to make right choices related to our spiritual lives. Probably you have been thinking to change the course of your spiritual life for months now. Well, the beginning of the new year, it's a great time you know, to start fresh, new with God, in your faith, in your relationship with God. Press forward for, it, for what lays ahead. And what lays ahead for you, it's so good. God says that I know the plans that I have for you. They are for good, not to harm you, but to bless you, to give you prosper, prosperity, you not know, to give you a future, to give you hope. That's what lays ahead for you in God. And the third and last thing that we should expect for this new year, it's to refocus, to focus our sight on Christ Jesus. Um, focus on Christ, laying down in your life the right and firm foundations. Doing so, it does matter what the new year will bring. You will not be shaken. Nothing will going to break you down because you are standing upon a firm foundation. There is a song that says, actually our team going to sing that song after uh, this meditation to finish our uh, streaming today. And the song, it says... Christ is my firm foundation, the rock in which I stand. When everything around me is shaken, I've, be, I've be never been more glad that I put my fa faith in Jesus. Because he's never let me down. He's faithful through generations. So why would he fail me now? He won't. Friends, think about this this. this uh, lyrics of this song and you're going to hear it again you know after uh, uh, i'm done here with our worship team they're going to sing it think about these lyrics and apply them to you believe that if you have a firm foundation in christ in, in his word and let the spirit control you and guide you throughout the 2023 it doesn't matter what's going to happen god is faithful he has been faithful throughout the generations and he will be uh, faithful with you he will not fail you he won't. You can believe and be assured about that. If we lay down the right foundation, focus in Christ, then we can say, like the Apostle Paul uh, uh, tells us, I press on to reach the end of the race and receive the heavenly prize for which God, through Christ Jesus, is calling us. The new year will be as well a time to focus on the returning of Christ Jesus, the rapture of the church for this may be the year, we don't know. But one thing we know, we are getting closer and closer of that day that Christ will return to get his church out of this earth and will go and live for, with him forever and ever. That's our blessed assurance. That's what we are looking for. That's our hope that soon, very soon, Christ Jesus will come on air and will call up his church to meet with him and will live with him forever. Who knows if 2023 will be that day. So press forward. You know, focus in the returning of Christ Jesus as well. Friends, let's make the best of this new year. Forgetting the past. Pressing for what lays ahead. And focus in Christ Jesus. I sincerely wish you all of you a very, very Happy New Year with Christ being the center of your lives. We will be back next Sunday in person here at 125 50 72 Street at 9 a.m. for a great time. Our first in-person gathering at Connect Church. Meanwhile, God bless you and uh, enjoy the rest of you. First year, first day of the year. is my firm foundation, the rock on which I stand, when everything around me is shaking. I've never been more glad that 
This song the worship team brought to us today says, Christ is my firm foundation, the rock on which I stand when everything around me is shaken. I've never been more glad that I put my faith in Jesus, cause he's never let me down. He's faithful through generations, so why would he fail me now? He won't. Friends, be assured that if you built your life on God, he won't fail you. It doesn't matter what 2023 brings, with him, you will get through it. If you want to start your journey with Jesus today and don't know where to begin, you can contact us by sending an email to info at connectedmonton.ca or a text to 780-984-1028 and we'll be able to help and guide you. If you want to show your generosity or bless us, you can do so by sending your donation to our ministry using the following three ways. By e-transfer to info at connectedmonton.ca or online giving by going to our website www.connectedmonton.ca slash give or mail by sending your donation to Connect Church PO Box 31024 New Mail Center Edmonton, Alberta T5Z 3P3 Next Sunday, January 8th, we'll be back in person at 12550 72nd Street at 9 a.m. Here and online as well. Happy New Year to everybody.